Hey guys, my name is Blake. Welcome back to H&B Travels. Today we need to talk about some things. Some good, some bad, some ugly. We're going to talk about some of the things that Carnival Cruise Lines has implemented within the last couple of days. We're going to be talking about, you know, these speakers. Yeah, you can't bring these on anymore. We're going to be talking about drug sniffing dogs. We're going to be talking about underage curfews. And also, we're going to be giving a gift card away to one of you guys that are watching right now. So stay tuned. Welcome back. All right, let's jump right in. Carnival Cruise Lines president Christine Duffy has now stated that they are going to be cracking down on some inappropriate behavior, inappropriate things that are going on in the ships, and some more safety measures that are being implemented. I want you guys to take a look at this video from Ms. Duffy herself. Tell me what you guys think about it in the comments. She's going to go over drug sniffing dogs some curfews for the young ones, and a little bit more. Stay tuned, find out, check it out. Hi, I'm Christine Duffy, president of Carnival Cruise Line with an important message for our guests. We've all seen the news coverage and social media posts of people behaving badly. It's happening in stores, restaurants, at sporting events, in schools, on airplanes, in theme parks, and yes, on cruise ships too. As the cruise line that sails more children and families than any other, I want to share with you the steps that we have taken to ensure that our guests have a safe, fun, and great vacation on board. My colleagues and I have been reviewing and updating security procedures, providing additional training to our crew, and enhancing guest communications to support the behaviors we expect on our ships. All of our ships have had more security personnel added and we've introduced narcotic sniffing dogs at home ports to screen luggage on both a routine and random basis. So our guests shouldn't be surprised if they even see dogs come on board at both our home ports and destination outports to make random searches. Illegal drugs, including marijuana, on cruise ships and in cruise terminals is prohibited. And in case there's any confusion, let me remind guests that while marijuana and cannabis products may be legal in some states, we are required to follow federal law, irrespective of the law in the state where you may be boarding your ship. For guests using medical marijuana, you should consult with your physician about an alternative therapy during your cruise as marijuana, as I said, is prohibited and will be confiscated. All guests must now acknowledge and commit to our code of conduct during the check-in process. So whether it's smoking, illegal substances, or disruptive behavior, there are consequences in place for those who do not comply, including fines, being confined to your cabin, or being removed from the ship and banned from sailing in the future. We've also implemented a youth curfew, and I've even called in the big guy, and by that I mean our chief fun officer, Shaq O'Neill, to help us get the message out. In addition to the new signage that we've put in the terminals and on the ship, you'll see a series of video messages from Shaq on your stateroom TVs, reminding guests of our policies and our collective responsibility to have fun and be safe. Details on all safety and security policies are included in our ticket contract, which you should review prior to booking. We know how to show our guests a great cruise experience, and our ships are full of fun-loving guests. That's why we're so successful and why guests keep coming back. So please help us make sure your carnival vacation is safe, fun, and memorable by respecting each other, our crew, and the ocean. Now, with all that said, let the fun begin. Thank you for your support. Now, guys, that video was just released just a couple of days prior to this video coming out. Um, I don't know if it was because of the spring break influx that these cruise companies are going to see now that everything is back open and they're seeing more business. Um, speaking of more business, the stock market uh, for these cruise lines are on the gradual rise, which we love seeing. Um, but back to that video before I get sidetracked, um, 
drug sniffing dogs. I mean, that's that's something that we've seen, um, you know, airlines and such like that. Um, in Mexico, they have the food sniffing dogs as they're going into the port. Um, but drug sniffing dogs, that's that's uh, interesting. That's going to be a big step forward, I feel like. Uh, my questions are, is where are they going to keep these dogs? Are they just going to subcontract for the, uh, when the ships come in or when they, when they leave, is it going to be um, part of the law enforcement part of that? Or is it going to be, um, you know, how is that going to work? I'd be interested to find out. Um, you know, as you know, some of these countries that we visit, cannabis and marijuana is legal. Um, so I, I just, I don't know how that's going to work. I think there's going to be a little bit of confusion, but I am glad to see that cruise lines are taking this seriously. They're becoming more and more aware of the issues that may arise from this. Um, in the video, you saw that the children are going to be kept um, on a closer, uh, you know, closer eye, if you will. They're going to be having that curfew in effect. Now, I don't know how they're going to enforce that, how they're going to maybe hold the parents liable for it. I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I know Hannah and I have been in, uh, or excuse me, on a cruise several times where we've been to the nightclub at 12, 30, and one o'clock, and there has been kids there with us. Um, I see that as a huge concern. I'm all for everybody having fun, but at that point when there is drinks are flying and emotions are being mingled and well, you know where I'm going with this. I, I feel like maybe there is a danger um, having those young teens or children in the club if somebody's had a little bit too much to drink and they stumble over and fall and that child gets hurt or you know whatever a bar fight happens you know I know that's not usually what happens but god forbid you know if if my kid was you know hurt at the bar or you know these kids are sneaking out of the staterooms wh whatever whatever the situation is it's, it's definitely um, time to be addressed, especially now that cruising is fully back open. And yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like what 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 is the biggest problem in cruising that you've seen so far, whether you've been a beginner cruise, if this is your first time cruising, or if you've been on 100 cruises. Um, you know, I think that this issue being addressed is a very, very, very good idea. All right, the next controversy that we're gonna be talking about is some cruise lines are now banning Bluetooth speakers. What? Yeah, some cruise lines such as Carnival, I believe, is now banning you bringing these on board. Now, I will say we've been in a situation to where um, there was a larger, not probably four times as big as this, larger Bluetooth speaker that a guy I think was like literally carrying in a backpack walking around the ship he was in the casino he was playing loud music he was i mean he was just vibing he was living his dream he was living his vacation out he was having fun he had a you know a couple people with him but to some people um you know that may be disturbing to them you know maybe they're trying to just hang out in the solarium or they're trying to concentrate on a book and you have people walking past back and forth with loud music i get it i understand um hannah and i we always bring just a small one on board with us just to keep in our room so whenever we're getting ready or if we want to sit on our balcony and we just, you know, play some soft music in the background, um, I don't really see an issue with it as long as you're not disturbing other guests. Just like if you were to bring a speaker to a hotel room, um, you know, you wouldn't want to play it so loud that your neighbor could hear it or, you know, be obnoxious. Um, yeah, I, I don't I don't know about that one. I don't know how I feel about that one. I think as long as you're being respectful, I don't see an issue with it. What about you guys? All right, last thing I want to talk about. <laughs> Hannah and I were joking about this like yesterday. MSC has a 116 night cruise around the world on the MSC Magnific Magnifica. It'll visit 50 destinations, 21 countries, featuring 22 destinations that has never been on a world or an MSC world cruise. And it will have a seven overnight stay or seven overnight stays at, I guess, random ports. The three month journey will take cruisers to five continents, traveling across three of the largest oceans and sailing over 30,000 nautical miles. 
I, I didn't think I would say this, but I don't know if I could last 116 nights on a cruise ship. I just don't know if I could do it. I'd be willing to try it. Hashtag not sponsored. 116 nights. That's a lot of nights from being away. I, I just, I don't know. One, that's an expensive drink package. I can tell you right now. I, <laughs> I don't even want to know what that would cost, but 116 nights. What do y'all think? You guys want to go halvesies? I don't even know what the price tag is. I could maybe put it in right here, but it, it's, it's going to be astronomical, but literally a once in a lifetime thing. So let me know in the comments, would you guys do 116 nights? What is the longest back-to-back -back cruise or what is the longest cruise you guys have ever done? I'd be interested to know. Maybe we'll talk about it next time on our next video, but yeah, let me know. Now what you guys have been waiting for, the Visa gift card. <laughs> Trust me, I know I've been waiting for this moment too. So when Hannah and I first started this channel back in August of 2022, we took our trip to, where did we go? What was our first video? I think it was our Mexico trip um, for our honeymoon. Um, we, we first originally created this to just share with friends and family of our travel adventures. We never thought that, um, you know, the people that follow us now as subscribers were going to stick with us and we really 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 appreciate it um before we knew it we had 200 subscribers and we're still working our way up so as a thank you to a one of you guys is out there in subscriber land we want to mail this to you as long as you live in the united states we want to mail you guys this visa gift card as a thank you so what that means is as long as you're following us one of you will win um i don't know when the end date is going to be Honestly, Hannah doesn't even know I'm filming this video right now, so I'll have to probably talk to her about it. But we went out and got this Visa gift card for one of you guys. We really do appreciate it. If you're not following us to enter to win this, all you have to do is just click that subscribe button down below. Um, we've got a cruise coming up in like three weeks. We'll be sailing on MSC Maravilla. We're going to be bringing all the cool content. We got some, um, well, I'm not going to tell you a bunch about it, but we got some special stuff that we're going to be bringing you guys. Um, some excursions. We're going to Mexico, Belize, Nassau, and Ocean Key. It'll be seven nights, and we're going to bring you all the cool content. So thank you guys again. Seriously, we really do appreciate it. We're going to try to get um, to 1,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers. It'd be awesome to be able to share with you guys. That is our lifelong dream to be able to vlog and um, you know, ultimately, hopefully, make a living off of it, which would be sweet. Um, but yeah, thank you guys, and um, be safe out there. We'll see you soon. Happy traveling.